Why does she keep calling? The Positive Impact Clinic sponsors this video, which is an affordable and excellent online medical consultation. Details are at the end of the video. The phone rang in the middle of the night. The number was not familiar. He wished he was wrong. Then, he answered. He heard a female voice begging him to listen to her. He hung up and blocked this number. His wife woke up and said, Is it she? He nodded, and she went back to sleep unfazed once such a phone would drive her crazy. She took it better than him, for he had scars. He told her he wanted to smell fresh air and went to the balcony. The people were asleep, and barely a car was seen drifting through the sleepy town. He fought the urge to smoke. He started smoking because of her, but he decided that the only person he was hurting was himself. He sat on the chair and cleared his thoughts. What doesn't kill you makes you different, for better and worse. And he was recovering. If he could go back and change the past, he would have avoided her and saved himself. But one can't change the past, only one can change the future. So he decided to go back to sleep. You can't make the future with a lack of sleep. Sleep did avoid him tonight. Every time he tried to sleep, past events haunted him. His therapist said letting them run their course was better than fighting them. So he decided to follow along. How did it all start? He was fresh out of university and his future was bright. He wanted a stable life, so he asked his mother to find him a wife. Where he lived, that's how things were done. And who knew women better than a woman? One day, his mother came with good news and a picture. She was the most beautiful thing he had ever seen in a photo. She had long hair, soft features, lush lips, and was his height. She was gorgeous. When the two families met, he understood the picture didn't appreciate her. When she brought the coffee, she was a goddess walking on earth. Or that's what his brain taught him then. He was a man in love and out of sense. They got engaged and she was terrific. She was sweet and polite. She befriended his mother and his sisters and went along well. He came to know her family and created a bond with them. Overall, things were going great. The wedding day was approaching, and the clergy came to sign the legal documents. After she signed, something changed. She whispered in his ears that she didn't like him and didn't elaborate. That disturbed him greatly, but he was afraid to ruin the happiness in the air. He didn't want to be the man who canceled his wedding at the last minute. He thought she was anxious and that she would grow out of it. The wedding went well, and he thought things were behind him. When they went home, she said that she didn't love him and refused to be intimate with him. The honeymoon was a nightmare. She created problems out of thin air and wasn't shy about it, even in public. He was patient and didn't lose his temper, but he felt she was always recording him. When they went back home, things got worse. He was afraid to go home. She intimidated and provoked him in every situation. He decided to keep calm and wait for a while. But the longer he stayed with her, the more he started worrying about his life. Then, the rumors started circulating that he was an abusive husband and that he wasn't attracted to women, that his marriage was a sham to hide his secrets, and so on. He drowned in work and took every opportunity to stay away from home and society. His life was a constant suffering. He lost weight, began smoking, and became unbearable. He never considered reaching out for help, for he was ashamed. He blamed himself for his wrong choices and didn't want to bother anybody. He even thought about ending his suffering once and for all. One day his sister found him smoking in his car in the middle of the night. Her brother never smoked, and he looked terrible. She asked her parents to investigate. Upon confrontation, he collapsed to tears, which shocked the family, for they had never seen him like this. He explained the situation, and immediately they confronted his wife. She explained that she didn't love him then and now, and she wanted a divorce. She demanded more than she should get. His father gave her everything she wanted, even his expensive car. But every time they presented the divorce papers, she demanded more. She panicked when they tried to approach her family and signed the papers. When she left with his father's car, that was the last time they saw her. She didn't go back to her parents' home, she disappeared. Her family got worried and thought something was wrong with her. When they reached out, he explained the situation, but nobody believed them. They felt they had murdered their sweet little child. The police came and arrested him and his father without any questioning. The humiliation was unbearable, and they became the news. Rumors went wild about where he lived, for people had nothing better to do than get under each other's skin. An investigation was initiated, and the detectives found that she had sold everything she had and moved it to a bank account abroad. They were released when they realized that she had left the country. When he was released, it was the first time he had smiled in a while. His family helped him through it. 
He went to a therapist and it took a long time for him to be at peace with what happened. They all said it wasn't his fault that she was a monster. But how can such a beautiful, delicate creature be such? He contemplated for months over what happened, and he tried not to blame himself. But the mind has its ways of torturing us. Life goes on, and he isn't ready to live in the past. So he made peace with everything and decided to take the scariest step, getting married again. His scars did disturb his relationship with his new wife. He was paranoid, and her assurances didn't help much. He kept trying until finally he felt safe with her. She was kind and knew his story. Her genuine love made him feel once more wanted. One day, his phone rang at a number he didn't know. When he answered, it was the monster. She was crying on the phone, telling him she was sorry for everything. She claimed that she was a victim of an insidious man who convinced her to do all of this. A man she met online and she fell in love with. He promised her love and exotic life abroad, and for her part, she had to do all she did and send the money to him abroad. When she traveled to be by his side, he was cold and abused her. When she couldn't handle it anymore, she decided to go home. Her family has shunned her, and all her friends decided to keep their distance from her. She told him she was sorry for everything she did and wished he could forgive and take her back. He didn't say a word. Even when she was begging him to say anything, he didn't. He hung up the phone. Only an idiot gets stung by the same snake twice. He ran to his wife to tell her about the call. She kept calling and he kept hanging up. He told everybody that it bothered him, but deep inside, he had a pleasure he was ashamed of. For every time he hung up on her, he felt happy. Karma was fair, but a nagging question kept him at night. How could such a beautiful creature be such a monster? He thought about the people suffering alone and full of shame worldwide. And he wished he could tell them they didn't need to live such a life. For the borders that prevented him from reaching for help were his own making. For our sponsor, medical consultation shouldn't be expensive and should be available to everybody. Our physicians are trained in Western medicine at the best medical faculties and have extensive experience. For more details, visit our website and order a consultation. We are waiting for you. The link is in the description. What do you think? Please share it in the comment section below. Subscribe for more content yours, The Counselor, SFTG.